Hi guys, Miss G here. So we're going to continue with our uh, dive into text structure. And today we're going to tackle the middle one right here that's called compare and contrast text structure. So first of all, let's go ahead and talk about what is text structure. So a structure, as we know, is like a building or a framework, like this structure that you see here. Text structure actually refers to how a piece of text is built. How is the reading built together? Writers use different structures to build their ideas. Each text structure communicates ideas in a different way. So we're basically looking at what is the author trying to get us to understand, right? Now let's suppose that an author wants to explain how these two birds are similar and different. Well, chronological order, that wouldn't work because there's no order of events. The author would need to use compare and contrast. I guess they could use description, but description would only be describing one bird. So if I want to compare how these two birds are similar and different, I need to use compare and contrast. So the text structure compare and contrast shows how two or more things are alike and or how they are different. We're going to use a Venn diagram. They usually use these for compare and contrast. On the outside, you'll see how they're different. And on the inside, we look at how are they the same. Okay. So when you're using contrast, you use words like signal words like different from, however, although, on the other hand, uh, also as, as opposite to, more than, less than, on the contrary. If you're talking about how they're the same, you're going to use words like similar to, alike, same as, not only, but also resembles, as well as, or even the word both. Okay, so this is what we're going to be looking for when we're doing compare and contrast, when we're comparing two things. Take a look at this story. The cardinal and the goldfinch are two common birds. Both are brightly colored. Both are common at bird feeders. But the birds have some differences. The male cardinal is a bright red, while the male goldfinch is yellow. Cardinals like shrubs and trees, while goldfinches prefer open meadows. Hmm. Okay, so we are comparing. When the authors use the text structure of compare and contrast, they often use special clue words to show this text structure. Can you find the clue words in the paragraph? Let's take a look at it again. Go ahead and look at that again. Do you see the words, the signal words that show that it is a compare and contrast? Here they are. So I see both are brightly colored. Both are common at bird feeders, so that describes how they're the same, but they have some differences. The male cardinal is bright red while the other one was yellow. So did you see that? I'm going to put this in a Venn diagram. So you'll see that I put cardinal and goldfinch on the outside and both in the middle. So what did they both have in common? They were both like bird feeders. They both are brightly colored. And then on one side, I see that the male goldfish is yellow. He likes open meadows. However, the cardinal is, a, is red, the male is red, and he likes shrubs and trees. So using a Venn diagram really helps me see the differences.